Hi, I am Ankari. Hope you are doing well and staying safe uh, during this corona pandemic. So you may be aware the ongoing situation between India and China at LAC and you may have also uh, know about the hashtag boycott China uh, trending all over the social media. So uh, there is one Chinese app, uh, you may also know this, which is TikTok. So there is a lot of buzz going on that is this app is secure or uh, is this app really a threat to your privacy. So if you are supporting boycott China hashtag or this trend then you may have uninstalled this app by now. And if not then I will be talking about few uh, reasons that will help you to understand whether you should keep it in your device or not or you should remove this instantly. So let's get started. So uh, first of all uh, I would like to tell you a little bit that and why I am doing this video. So few days back uh, I used this TikTok app uh, for the very first time and uh, the uh, videos uh, when I installed this app so when I installed then the videos were like uh, uh, not related to very much uh, the content that I was looking for. So it was showing uh, first of all uh, it asked me to choose a language then I chose English and then I just uh, ask few things and then it, it started. So uh, I choose English but instead it was showing me content from Hindi uh, language as well. So I was not sure that how and why this happening. And after 10 minutes or so I was just scrolling the feed and skipping every next video. So after 10 to 15 minutes uh, the whole feed was customized. Uh, to me so I was very shocked that how this is happening and what's going on. So after doing a lot of research I find out that the all the uh, things that all the feed that uh, suggestions that comes on the feed. So it's done by all by the AI and we all know that the AI of TikTok is one of the best AI algorithm that TikTok uses. So it's like that we take uh, near about less than a minute survey in TikTok. So every video or the content uh, that's uh, on the TikTok is like a survey. So it's like a little survey uh, for 30 seconds to one minute. And uh, we don't take one or two survey, we take hundreds of survey and it uh, shows all of our interest, disinterest, what we like, what we dislike all about uh, our political uh, beliefs and uh, our political views. So everything uh, we are feeding to a Chinese company. So uh, you know that TikTok is a Chinese company and uh, TikTok uh, is a subsidiary of and the parent company of TikTok is uh, ByteDance. And also you may know about the Hello app. Uh, ByteDance is also the parent company of Hello. So ByteDance is basically an internet company and ma which mainly focus on uh, artificial intelligence. So you see that uh, you are just training the AI for a Chinese company and most of you may be thinking that all the companies are doing the same. So uh, what's wrong with this and why everyone is targeting TikTok. So uh, you may know, don't know that uh, there is a rule in China that uh, every company data uh, can be accessed by the government so which means that government can get hands on every data even your personal messages or your personal data so you can't uh, deny this and TikTok is a Chinese app so basically you are doing this uh, to uh, uh, train the algorithm of a Chinese company as well as uh, your data is uh, going to China so one thing that uh, I, uh, I want to say that uh, what uh, if you may aware of the situation so you can now think that if something bad happens between India and China so how Chinese government can use our data uh, so we are more than 19 million users in India uh, right now using TikTok so uh, it can be ag used against us. And not only this, uh, if you install TikTok app then try to upload a video over the platform. So it will ask you for few permissions like a storage, camera, files and media. And then if you check in the app info uh, page, so 
uh, there is nowhere it is asking for location permission. So I told you already that I choose English language but it was showing me the videos in the Hindi too. So how does that happen? Uh, so it took our location, okay. But it was not mentioned in anywhere in the app permission. So if you go to the privacy policies of the TikTok, then you will see that there is clearly mentioned that they, they collect your uh, location information based on the SIM card and IP address. And with your permission, uh, they may also collect the GPS data. So this is a simple video sharing app. Then why it is uh, uh, collecting so much of uh, location data and uh, with to this depth? Even if you use a VPN, then it will even collect your uh, current location. So now you see that uh, this whole data uh, either is location or your uh, likes, dislikes, all your political views, all are going to, to a Chinese company and Chinese government have full control over your all of your data. Now not only this, uh, so if you choose uh, to sign up uh, using a social media account such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or Google, so they will collect the information uh, from there too and they have access to your contact list. Uh, I'm not saying uh, by myself, it's all written uh, in this uh, privacy policy. So you can check this or if you uh, see that uh, what they do to your message. So it is clearly mentioned that we collect and process which include scanning and analyzing information you provide in context of com uh, composing, sending and receiving message through our platform's message functionality. And the most important thing uh, that I want to mention here uh, that the information includes the content of message and it seems quite tragic that they have access to your uh, private messages and uh, that's not good. So if you take WhatsApp for an example, so there is a two-way encryption and no one can access your message except uh, the sender and receiver. But there is clearly written that they collect and process which include scanning and analyzing your message so they can analyze your message, they can use them against you or they can use for their benefit. And now if you see uh, about the device information, so there is clearly mentioned that they uh, collect uh, your data device information including your IP address, unique device uh, identifier model, your device uh, model of your device, your mobile uh, carrier, time zone settings, screen resolution, operating system, apps and file name and type, keystroke pattern or rhythm and platform. So you see that uh, uh, they are collecting data in every way possible they can collect. And uh, it seems uh, that it's not quite good because all of the data is going to China. So and the rule that governs in China. So uh, all of your data is like in the hand of government. So they can use it in any way possible. So you can think of that whether you should keep this app in your phone or you should remove it. So it's all your choice. But uh, if you uh, say that what, uh, what's my view. So I just used few days back and I instantly uninstalled that app and I think that you should do the same for your own privacy and that's all what I want to share in this video. Hope uh, you find this video a little helpful for you. So that's all what I want to share in this video and if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe. Thank you. Jai Hind.